being God's side of the story, but we need to question God to find out what is it so bad with the people that you got to kill all the floods and all this kind of shit here? That means something got to be fucked up with you. And I done found the Lord to solution. <laughs> Well, did you see the Matrix? Huh? I mean, we saw the Matrix. Well, if we can prove that everybody is in an illusionary state and a Matrix, well, what kind of God did we put people in a Matrix? Some guy be wrong with him anyway. But a mere fact is, and what you're going to prove in a few doggone minutes, this. That they are trying to hide something based on the humans that they don't want you to know. And it's a whole host of the archangels that don't want you to know this shit. You see what I'm saying? First of all, they are your enemy. And they don't want to help you. Now, let me get two things straight for you right now so you can understand. Does God love you? Yes. God does love you. You get this shit right. The picture's all right. You're saying, now you're confusing me. <coughs> does God love you? Yes, God loves you in your human, physical body. It is your soul that he hates. So he, he says, I am a God of the living and not the dead. Now, wait a minute now. Hold on now. We get somewhere now. Preachers have been saying it's for all in the damn book about the living God. Wait a minute. Hold on now. If you're the true God, why aren't you a God of the dead? Ah, oh, now the goddamn walls is coming down now. He said, I am a God of the living, but not the dead. Then that means you can't be the true damn God. Because ultimately, everybody got to die. Here, Chris, my new prophecy, Capricorn, you're going to die. <laughs> Scorpio, you're going to die. Leo, you're going to die. Ultimately, death is the ultimate reality. It's only one stage. It never is the ultimate reality because everybody got to die. Death always eat up everything. In the, in, 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 in the book, uh, in, in the movie, the never ending story, he said everything is being swallowed up by nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, come on, goddamn it. He said, I am the God of the living, but not the dead. But if you God, why aren't you a God of the dead? Since when most motherfuckers figure they're going to get to God when they die. <laughs> well, that's a bitch, man. <laughs> I don't want to die so I can get to heaven. But he said, no, I'm a God of the living, not the dead. <laughs> He's a living God. So I said, my God is a living God. I said, wait a minute. So suggest your God is a living God. Also, that suggests there's got to be other gods. Because if your God is everything and no other God exists but him, what the fuck does it got to be to live and why ain't he the God of the day? Osiris is the God of the day. Okay? All right. <laughs> then we get him somewhere here. Go and get Raphael Patches and Robert Gray's Hebrew myth. It might be out of Hebrew myths. It might be out of print. But also, if you can't get it, I just want you to find a book for one damn word if you don't get nothing. If, if that one is out of print, then I want you to get this one. Hold on one minute. Y'all with me? Is everything all right? We got to get to some stuff. What I want you to understand is this. What the Hebrews identified in the Raphael Patsy's book, Greek, uh, Hebrew Myths. See, that's the book. See, John Henry Clark said, get Hebrew Myths. Because before the ship was a religion, it was an advanced mythology system. So when Joseph Campbell said the Hebrew religion ought not be invented, he didn't say the Hebrew mythology, which was an advanced mythology system, which an educational system was science. He said the Hebrew religion, which is the bullshit where you historicalize something. And you make the biblical patriarchs, which is astronomical figures, which is never only Egyptian or you make them into historical beings. Like Solomon, and David, and Abraham. And you grown ass motherfuckers. 15 PhDs believe these damn people believe these motherfuckers live. Right. That crazy shit. You gotta break out of these fairy tale shit. It tells you in the book, Awaken the God Within by Hilton Hope Team. And I told you that before on my tapes years ago that David slew the giant with one pebble. The pebble is the, is the philosopher's stone, is the 
pineal gland. The giant represents your physical body, and when the pineal gland is activated, it throws off the physical body. And you get what is called a glorified body. Going to leave the old shell behind, metamorphosis. The pebble is the philosopher, some which is the pineal gland. He admits it in this particular book, Awakening to God, but then Hilton Hokema's book. Now, the key is, this is the key. If he's the God of the living and not the dead, why is it that the angel of death in the Raphael Patches and, and Robert Graves' book, Hebrew Mythology, and in this book, Arie Weinman's book, Mystic Tales from the Zohar, the angel of death is fucking Satan. And why is Satan evil when ultimately we all got to die? See what I'm saying? So ultimately, to get back to this particular stuff, I'm not talking shit about your God. I'm talking about advanced scientific terminology. And you got to know what realm that you own and quit giving your energy to the other damn realm. You see what I'm saying? So, if he's the God of the living and not the God of the death, he does love you. God loves you. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he's so good to me. He loves you. He loves your physical body, which is your... Trapped. He loves the jailhouse that you are in. But he does not like your soul. Because your soul is the only thing that comes beyond him. He is the God of creation. But I don't give a fuck if you get that damn Bible. Creation has to come into view. It wasn't in the beginning there was creation. In the beginning it was darkness. You go to the damn Upanishads. They tell you in the beginning it was death or shit. Now we're getting some damn well. It says, in the beginning, there was death. And then creation started. So that means that death has to be an entity itself. In the Kabbalah, it says that at the top of the sphere, you got Kepa, which is the first line of creation, but you also got Aim, Aim, Sada, and Aim, Saw, which is called nothingness, which is also called death. The great mother. Do you see why she becomes the enemy of all organized religions? You see what I'm saying? Death is the only reality there is. So he loves you. He only loves your physical body. The jailhouse that he got you trapped in. Because the real story, as I tell you over and over again, is God comes in based on creation and he traps the ancient souls that preceded him. You see what I'm saying? So he traps his mothers and his fathers and put them into a physical body. Then he turns around and creates the damn notion of the devil that is the energy of the information of the gods that preceded him and he takes the people in the physical body, he wired their brains together where they can only understand the five senses, then he teaches them that their own soul is evil. Because when you trace your goddamn soul back, bam, it comes to the nothingness. You see what I'm saying? It comes to death when you deal with it on another level. So why is it that the angel of death is always Satan? But if you go to ancient Kemet, the angel of death is Osiris. That's the angel of death. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Even the Jesus story, not Jesus. That's Greek. The Christ story, that motherfucker got to die. So even when you take the authentic Christ story, he dies. And it's only when he dies, he gets the power. You see what I'm saying? So he is beyond the creation of his father. So are we the sons and so it's a two-part story. Man has a double nature. Are we the sons and daughters of God? Yes, we are. We're the physical sons and daughters of God based on our physical bodies. But your soul ain't got shit to do with that motherfucker. And it's his age-old enemy that's got to kill his ass. This is some real deal shit. We're not dealing with no more guy here. You don't suppose to come and hear no shit that you done heard before. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I know it sounds strange, but not only that, you're going to have to 
rebel against the gods that helped him to keep us down here in this jailhouse. And it gets worse than that, too. 